Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Speed and Strength SS 2400 Dirt Helmet, available at Revzilla.com. This is the new SS2400 Dirt from Speed and Strength. Going to be around that $100 mark. It's going to be what I would consider an entry-level dirt helmet that hits a few things out of the park, but it is basic in its approach. Remember, for these graphics, you're looking at just over that $100 mark. There is a matte black, stealthed out, murdered out. I think they call it jet black version. And keep in mind, this is a lunatic fringe graphic. Comes in six different colors, including OEMs. But there are some other graphics and solids that also come in a youth-sized helmet, which they call the SS2300. So if you're looking at this and you got a little buddy or a little daughter kid sister that's riding with you, you could pair them up with dad and you could look great together hitting the track. Now diving into the helmet itself, starting from the outside and working my way in. Remember it's polycarb, it's going to be pretty basic, but it's only three pounds, six ounces. So it's reasonably light for a dirt helmet. Now one of the things you're going to notice as we work our way around is you do have this movable peak. They use some metallic hardware to keep it adjustable. It is going to be DOT rated, but you're noticing there's not a big ventilation scheme. It's one of the things they did to keep the cost down. So again, no venting through this EPS. What you do have is a super super wide eye port here in the front that's going to flow a ton of air. And you also have your mouth vent here that's going to flow a ton of air in, but even these vents up here along the brow, they're actually non-functioning. There's no holes in the EPS. And that would be my gripe. I'd love to see the next version have even a couple little entry and exhaust ports that go out. But again, just over that $100 mark for a DOT helmet that's reasonably light, comes in a pretty cool graphic and a package of graphics, you really can't complain that much. Now. As we move it around, you're going to see different molded type of plastic here in the EPS. It has a little texture and grip to it. Notice this big ridge in the back. That's for your goggle strap. And the eye port's going to be plenty wide enough to get a solid goggle in there as well. Again, a nice feature that they pull, they pull together. And before I dive into the guts here, let's talk a little about fit shape. The fit on this guy is going to be about intermediate oval. That's slightly longer front to back. That will fit most of the American market. So again, no surprises there. If you're really, really round, this isn't the helmet for you. It's if you're super narrow, not the helmet for you. It's kind of that Goldilocks right in the middle that we see a lot of times from Speed and Strength. If you are concerned about fitment, remember we do ship for free over 39 bucks. And as I walk through the rest of the guts of the Lunatic Fringe here, or really this SS2400 model, Click here, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback. Gut reaction, really, I'd love to hear it on the Lunatic Fringe. Now, as we break it around, before I get into the rest of the guts, let's look at this graphic really quickly. Remember, six colors available just here in the Lunatic Fringe, and I'm just going to give you a little, one little nugget. 5150 is involuntary psychiatric committal in the state of California. I like that they went detailed here. But remember, one of the things they did really well outside of having a stealth jet black version is there's also six colors available, so you can match it up with your OEM colors. We know a lot of folks love to do that. Now, if I pull my donut and I break into the guts here, let's rock it on its side. There we go, bringing it back. What you're going to notice are a few things that I do like here at this price point or at any price point, really. Notice, it's nice solid molding around the outside. It's going to have a nice finish to it. They are using a micro metric ratchet, which we see a lot of times in Europe. And what this does, is it allows you to take your helmet off with one hand. It's not a double D ring. Some guys love it. Some guys don't like it. Again, it's a personal preference thing. You should check it out. It's cool that they went this direction. They made a very clear choice. As always, you're going to have the cool core lining from Speed and Strength with antimicrobial and it's wicking. And one of the things I like that they did here, while it's not a slide release, they do have emergency cheek pad removal system. It's very basic. You still have to pull a little bit harder than you do on some of the higher end helmets. But the fact that they baked it in and the EMTs can get there to you and hopefully stabilize your head if you do have a little bit of an off and you're out cold, they give you that option. Notice contour on the cheek pads, two different types of material. It's meant to wick sweat, meant to be washable and cleanable. Again, so they don't get funky over time because motocross is what I would consider one of the gnarliest of anaerobic or aerobic activities. You're going to sweat, you're going to burn some calories. As we break out our comfort liner, what you're going to notice is two normal snaps at the back of the occipital ridge, low on the head. You're not going to feel them. That's where everyone should put their snaps. And then if we move into the front here, you're going to notice not connected at the brow. Or not connected to the forehead, rather, connected via plastic at the brow. They've done that correctly, in my opinion. You eliminate pressure points high on the head by connecting the helmet to the plastic at the brow in an area you will not feel at all. Notice 3D. It does have some channels. You're not flowing a ton of air from the EPS or the, the protective layer of the helmet. You'd be flowing it through the front, but you do have some room for circulation. Notice this foam padding is going to soak up sweat. And if I turn it inside out, you're going to see, again, dual composition of different types of material. It is cool core, and it is going to be washable. Again, increasing the longevity and comfort of the helmet. Now, if we break into the guts, 
Oh, speed and strength, this is my only gripe, and I wanna see the next version of this helmet have some channeling, even if it's just two chimney vents in the front. I am gonna call out that there's not gonna be any airflow coming through that EPS liner, because there's no vents in the helmet. But again, you have to make some trade-offs when you're gonna hit a price just over that $100 mark, and again, that's one of the areas they chose to save. So remember, you have some adjustability, you're DOT rated, it's very lightweight, comes in a handful of colors, and there's a youth version, the SS2300. The next step in your journey is to click right here and read other rider reviews of the SS2400 at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. Remember, check out some of the other graphics and check out that youth version. As always, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.